was yeah, cute. You're it was making cute. me cry. It was like, uh, <laughs> aw, don't cry. <laughs> Morgan. I'm Jake, and we, we are, are Neverland Navigation, Navigation Show. Your personal guides to everything Walt Disney World and beyond. And Morgan, where are we on this beautiful, crisp Florida evening? We are in Disney Springs. Of course. At Wine Bar George, but we're not at the regular restaurant. We're at like the quick serve counter restaurant called The Basket. Listen, George, we're not coming in. We're sitting outside, and we're just ordering from your little wine bar basket. And we got a couple different things that we uh, kind of wanted to see how the quality kind of fared for this little pickup window as opposed to the restaurant. Yeah, and I thought that the name, the basket, was a little weird, but it, it perfectly makes sense because, like you said, it's like a picnic. Oh, yeah, I'm just putting that together. Yeah. When we sat down, I'm like, oh, look, it's a picnic, and it's, it's like called the basket. Yeah. When we first got here, I did make fun of the name. Like, that's not right. That should, that's not a restaurant. That's not a food service name. Yeah, but, but it does make sense. It does. Yeah, it's very picnic -y food. Yeah. Um, we're going to go over a little bit about the quality, how we enjoyed some of these menu offerings, and we'll kind of let you know what type of evening this food matches up well with. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about where we are. We're in Disney Springs. Specifically, we're on the little island that used to be um, <laughs> Pleasure Island. island. Um, so we're over by Jocelyn T's Hanger Bar, which is currently Jocelyn T's Holiday Bar, and that's over there, Boathouse. Yeah, Boathouse is over there, Gideon's is over here, which, with its hour-long line. <laughs> yeah, right. Morimoto Asia's over For here. For cookies, yeah. cookies, yeah. We're also right across the way from the stage where Disney Springs has nighttime entertainment. So if you're picking up some of these rocket beats, that's what that is. It's yeah. just the live entertainment over there. And I will say, like, seating-wise, this is a cute little nook of Disney Springs, I should think. Although we would be complaining if it were 100 degrees. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. That, that's this always... is, for us, only really acceptable when it drops down below 80, yeah, right? 80, is... 85, maybe? Yeah, yeah. This is like, for Florida, this is a cool November night, so we're happy to be outside. Yes, but yeah. you've got to be aware that if you're coming here, it's only outdoor seating. Right, so that, honestly, during the summertime, that would it's kind up of, to you. <laughs> that yeah. would make this iffy for me. It, yeah. But I will say, in the evening that we're having, where we're at, I really enjoy the atmosphere of being a little bit tucked away in yes. Disney Springs and being in our own little part of things. It's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, for this weather, I like it. Yeah. We ordered um, a couple of different things to kind of get a sampling of everything. Yes. We got a baguette, which um, is on the menu as a half baguette, but when you order it, they just hand you a French baguette for you to a eat. A huge, whole French baguette, uh -huh. yeah. They sure did. Um, we also got what, hummus? We got, yeah, the hummus plate, a Spanish cheese plate, yeah. and then we got a charcuterie board, which is actually not on their quick serve menu, right. but they'll let you order anything from the small plates from the regular restaurant. Let's break it down on us. On the menu, they have an item at the basket called charcuterie board, but it's one of those like adult lunchables, I like to call them. That's just like a plastic tray. And I think it was in. only one meat. Right, it was just like prosciutto or something. Yeah. So you can get that for like $11 rip off. Yeah. Or you could also order, uh, they, they will give you the charcuterie board from the restaurant. Which is $26 and you get four meats. I'm not sure I would say that was a great value, but... I wouldn't say it was a great value, but I wouldn't go as far as to say that's a great value. It's a little bit in the middle, you know? Yeah, I I wasn't a big fan of any of the, the meats, so for me it wasn't great, but... But you don't like charcuterie. I do like, I like the cheese portion of charcuterie under normal circumstances. So yeah, this you're right, a, you're right. It did, is a, did you like it a lot? I, I did, I thought it was odd that it had maybe... Maybe traditional charcuterie just doesn't have cheese. Maybe not. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not... You know, I'm not a with doctor. That. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I'm not a. Uh, I'm not a wine bar George. Um, but the um, the lack of cheese was disappointing. Morgan was like, "Oh, I, I'm gonna have to buy like a separate thing of so cheese." So I did. Yeah. So she did. 
So that made the twenty. That was a good value. How much was the charcuterie? Twenty six dollars. So that made the twenty six dollars charcuterie board thirty. How much did you pay for that? Twelve. There you have it. <laughs> that really upped the price of the charcuterie board yeah. a little bit. Yeah. So that's something to keep in mind if you're looking for a charcuterie board experience. Is that you're gonna have to kind of build your own. Yeah. Build you could your own. you could buy the the big board from upstairs, but that was like sixty one dollars. That had uh, the meats and cheese. Right. Yeah. Although I will say I did enjoy the assortment of meats. There were some that I didn't absolutely love, but I thought the salami was really good. I, I liked the, the salami too. I enjoyed the prosciutto more I than too. I normally enjoy prosciutto, yeah. actually. So I it was the was other great. two that I was were a miss for me. The mustard was overpowering for me, but the chutney sauce jam, whatever that, that was thing good. was, good. The pickles are pickles, you know, they're pretty standard fare. But overall, I like the The other two meats, one of them was a pork pate, which just isn't my thing in general. But if you like that kind of thing, then it might be great. I don't like my meat mushy. Yeah. That's gross. And then the other one, we didn't actually know what it was. I, he did tell me when he gave it to me. I just forgot, but... Um... Give this video a thumbs up if you don't like your meat mushy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, you know, that's how I feel. But um, that's how I feel. That, the other one was kind of mushy too, right? Yeah. Like a soft It meat. was very soft. I wouldn't say that it was like <laughs> spreadable, which is a gross <laughs> Which is what to say We looked up what pate <laughs> meant and that... That's what it said, spreadable. But it definitely was it definitely was on the soft side for me. <laughs> it's a really gross way of putting it. All right, I'm think. done with this charcuterie board. <laughs> okay, you want to talk yeah. about the hummus? Yeah, the hummus was really good. Kind of like a standard hummus. It came with seven slices of cucumber and seven pieces of pita. Yeah, that's like seven too many slices of cucumber because <laughs> um, the, the cucumber was very overpowering. The pita lovely, soft, great for the hummus. Um, the hummus has, you know, all the good um, red pepper things going on at the top, and so with the with the, uh, the little pita, that's really nice. Yeah. But when it's the cold, very cucumbery <laughs> taste of the cucumber with the, you know, just with the hummus, it, it's not a great bite for me. Right, right. I, I thought was, it, the cucumber was definitely overpowering. And also, this thing happens where the pita starts to taste like cucumber. You don't eat it fast yes, enough. that's true. I don't that's like true. that. I almost wish they would have given us the cucumber in a separate. separate little thing. Yeah. You know? but but the hummus itself was a good amount. It was the, a big scoop. I right. think they used like an ice cream scoop. And it was nice and creamy. The hummus, how much is the hummus? I think it was also $12. Okay, the hummus like wins If I'm wrong, I'm me. within $2. Right. The hummus wins value for me. Yeah. Because it's a good portion, it's really high quality, and there are no real... Um, and it's more filling. Yeah. It's, it's a little bit more of like a... I guess your baguette was a pretty good yeah. value. It just, it's just a thing of bread. Yeah, it's $4, but it's pretty good. And um, when you order the charcuterie board, they only give you those hard little like What'd you say? Like a crustani? Yeah. Yeah, crustini. one of those things. Um, and some crackers. So if you're looking for a nice soft pairing for your cheeses and meats, then, you know, get yourself a $4 yeah. half baguette that is a whole baguette. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. I wonder if they always do that and give you the full baguette. Maybe he just likes me. Maybe. Maybe he knows that I'm a wide margin. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, the cheese board was, or the cheese plate was really good. It was a decent portion. They, Three different kinds of cheeses. They call this a Spanish uh, sliced cheese plate, I'm reading it. Um, yeah. But it's also Ponce de Leon's yeah. <laughs> Spanish sliced cheese plate. I don't know if he was directly involved <laughs> or if this is more of like an estate based project. <laughs> um, but overall, I would describe the cheeses as. Um, Edible and five. Edible. I thought it was very good. Yeah, they I mean, were this is nice. five ounces of cheese. That's a lot. You know, like I couldn't eat five ounces of cheese by myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, they were good. They, these are uh, they were three different kinds of cheeses, including a sheep's milk, a goat's milk, and one that was sheep, goat, and cow milk. A bundy, bundy, bundy. Yes. My favorite was the bundy, bundy. <laughs> Yeah, I like the goat cheese. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, the, I will say, my uh, recommended, if you're not into hummus or if you're not into pita that tastes like cucumber because it's been sitting in the same container for too long, the combo of the Ponce de Leon <laughs> cheese trio <laughs> and the $4 half baguette that is a whole baguette, they actually go together <laughs> really nicely if you're just looking for like something cash. Yeah, <laughs> a good point, sorry. Yeah. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, as you can see, this was a very picnic food -ish. You yeah, see what I mean? I feel like, like we had a picnic. little, like, yeah, a little bougie, sophisticated little picnic uh -huh. piece. Yeah. It was, um, it was expensive. 
it was but that was mainly because of the charcuterie board which i like that's why i think really value wise it was not good value <laughs> yeah value wise this is not a winner but right. like the baguette and the cheese would have been under twenty dollars for the boat yeah the boat. If I and did, then the hummus i really think it was twelve dollars if yeah if i did it again i would just not maybe just not get the charcuterie board yeah you know it's just there you there, live and you live there are charcuterie boards on property i really enjoy for example um over in hollywood studios baseline tap house they have a good charcuterie yes, board. Yes, they and do. It's really, um, it's got more to it than right. what we're experiencing right. here. It's got a wider array of meats. It's got a couple different mustards. It's, you know, it's yeah. really like giving you some value for your money. Yeah. I feel like this one, the, the money is there. The value is just a little on the not so, not so there yeah. side. For right. Me. If we're ranking charcuterie boards, then yes that so one that down. one's a better but i would say this is better than ogus right oh yeah the ogus one is like at the bottom it's like it's pork weird. rinds and beans it's yeah. just not good yeah yeah yeah. Um, yeah don't i don't recommend it i don't recommend that either all right you want to rank this stuff oh yeah all right let's talk about the location the okay convenience, the transportation sure. what are we feeling I want to know what your your ranking system is going to be, Jake. Oh, well, I'm feeling like we should rank things out of five baskets. Because this is the basket that feels right, you know? Sure, yeah. Yeah, pick a basket. Okay, now what were we doing location? We yeah, have a location. Hmm. So we're in the heart of Disney Springs. Yeah. On what used to be Pleasure Island. Um, so you're out of the way of all parks. You're pretty far away from most of the resorts if you're not Saratoga Springs. Yeah, or Old Key West or, Old or, Key West, right? or Orleans. Those three have a boat that comes to Disney Springs. Yes. So if I, you're in Disney Springs. Here's the, yes, if you're in Disney Springs, it's a great location. Ding but dong. if you're not. Yeah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. So that, I think, lands it square in the middle, don't you find? A good old two and a half baskets. You know how you just saw a basket of half yeah. sometimes. Whoops. All right. So <laughs> should we uh, move on to the good old fashioned ambiance of it all? Sure. Ambiance. Now this is a gamble. It's risky because what if it's hot? Uh, yeah. I guess it's not a risk. You'll know. If You'll it's know hot. ahead of time. You'll but... feel it in your bones. Yeah. I don't know. It's good right now, but this is like a two month thing at it'll best. It'll all fade away. Yeah. It'll all, it'll all scorch. And um, it was pretty loud over here. So it's loud. It's, and you couldn't fit a, a big party back here. So what are you thinking? <laughs> two. Two baskets. Two, those baskets. Uh, don't know the Spanish word for baskets. I'm sorry. Right. Ponce de Leon would tell me if you were here. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. So let's talk about quality. Now, this is a big one because, you know, quality i mean we'll get into value in a second but take the price out of it if you didn't know how much you paid for it what do you think three three baskets yeah uh, yeah yeah i would even maybe go three and a half baskets. Oh, okay three and a half baskets. you know how sometimes sometimes you need it's a half. the other half of the basket from before so right. now you've got, yeah it works um yeah the quality is a little hit or miss hit or miss that's but, what i would call it to you the but, bread was good yeah, the hummus good was good it? What's good is good. The cheese was good, but it being in this packaging is very weird for me. It is. It's a little like, um, you know what I feel like I'm doing? I feel like I'm getting Having lunch a at the college <laughs> campus. Oh. You know what I mean? I feel like getting your all apart things, spending too much of your allotted student money or whatever. Right. Yeah. That's what I feel like it is. So I mean, keep that in mind, I guess. <laughs> now let's talk about value. Okay. This is where things really fly off the rails. Two. It, again, hit or miss. I really think the baguette and the cheese plate were a good value. I think that the charcuterie board was a bad value. Yeah. Maybe two and a half. If you're looking for a... <laughs> if you just want to... Forget about it. Yeah. It's great. It's lovely. I, I, I will say, it is soft. It is um, yeah, probably a sizable maybe. portion. Could you get this for two dollars at the grocery store? Yeah, but you're not at the grocery store. You're in. Well, yeah, you Mickey have to Mouse pay double. Yeah, so yeah. you've at least got to pay double what you're thinking is a reasonable amount. So for that, I'd say the bread. But yeah, two baths. Two baths. I think I would I would have paid more for that if they had been like, oh, this is six dollars. Don't just say again. that too loud. Oh. Don't make it seven dollars right now. But if I, you go and it's seven dollars, I'm really sorry. Yeah. Oopsie. <laughs> Morgan did it. Yeah. Um, so overall, I would describe Wine George, Wine Bar George, the basket, as being for people who are okay with spending too much money on picnic food and eating outside. <laughs> if you are that person, 
okay or grabbing a, a classy snack Yes. It's really you all about I mean. marketing. No, I do know what you mean. Like, if you're looking for you something... You could spend $20 on McDonald's, or you could spend $20 on a baguette and a cheese plate. You are so right about that. I actually do think... And let me be frank. Don't be frank. EJ. Okay. It's me. One more frank. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed, like, the experience, but honestly, I think that's because of the company as oh. well as, like... There's live music going, the ambiance, the weather's perfect. The weather is perfect. Like there's a lot working in our favor. You caught me on a good night. You caught me on a good night because you know I do think that there is some hope here for people who are looking for like these set of classes. Snack. Yeah. If they gave me some grapes, I'd be set. And if if you drink alcohol, you'll probably like even more. I know they've got a really big cocktail and wine list. Right, right. That is something that we should mention. We are yep. not um, drinkers, really. So. Right. You know, we're not enjoying the wine in the wine bar George basket. <laughs> right, right. So we're really just so going makes, for the basket. Right. So we're really reviewing food today. Yeah. Oh hey. Oh hey. That was a that was a straightforward, honest review of our experience. And we hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, what should they do? Subscribe. Yeah. Pretty Subscribe. please. Please. We would love to have you. You can join our family of subscribers who are learning all about the latest Walt Disney World. And you can give this video a like and comment if you've ever tried Live Bar George. Have you ever tried the outside? Also, I would like to know what restaurant that has a window do you really like? Because there are a couple of them. There's a few, yeah. Morimoto has one. Yeah. There are a couple different ones across Disney Springs. So I would like to know if there's a window that you prefer. You know, that'd be that'd be interesting to know because maybe yeah. we'll review that as well. Yeah, absolutely. You can find us online at neverlandnavigation.co. That's where you can find Morgan's blog where she writes about dot experiences. Co. Dot Neverland co. Navigation. Dot dot co. And don't you not forget it. <laughs> um, it's uh, you can find Morgan's blog all about experiences in Walt Disney World. You can follow us on social media at Neverland Navco at um, on TikTok and on Instagram. And of course, most importantly, we do a podcast. We do a podcast. Neverland so, Navigation Radio. It comes out weekly and we take um, about 45 minutes to an hour. It's usually an hour. An and we, hour to an hour and a half is what he means. <laughs> and we'll deep dive into a particular topic and we get into some really spirited discussions over there. So yeah, that's, it's so fun. That's super fun. We'd you can find that on any of the podcast places you normally find it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. If you enjoyed our antics, but we hope to see you right back here on our next adventure. Goodbye. Happy birthday, Bailey. You don't think his music's going to be We could do a test. Let's talk, let's talk about a good old fashioned. That's it. That's it. <laughs> we did it. Just say that one more time. <laughs> Disgusting. Michael, do you feel more like a sheep? A goat? What if I uh, read them in an eye <laughs> You don't think Pops de Leon had anything to do with this? I think he... <laughs> did not. <laughs>